Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore, aka Hardcraft, where last time we built my house and it is pretty epic. Um, this in here is not so epic, but everything else is pretty decent, pretty decently epic. Um, I am very excited though to announce that today I'll be finishing out my storage room, which I've decided to keep the floor. It's a little over the top, but it's still cool. So we're going to be finishing out the storage room today. I also, off camera, what did I do? I added a few more torches over there on the peninsula uh, where the sand is. I just decided to add some, uh, but I ran out of torches. I, li I literally ran out of wood, and then I came back to base and I found this oak wood, which I forgot about. So, yeah, it's good. So the first thing that I actually want to do is jump up here and create some pressure plates and and uh, buttons and stuff just because it is awful having to having to uh, manually shut the doors. I'm fine with manually opening the doors, but manually shutting the doors is no fun. So I'm gonna close. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that. My bad. Um, I'm gonna place these pressure plates here on the entire bottom floor on the exterior. And then I also want to do the same thing in here on both sides. There we go. So now I can kind of feel like that's still backwards. I actually uh, put them like that. Yeah, that's better because now I can just go like, watch, watch, watch. Boom! Both doors blast open. That's pretty sick. All right. And then, yeah, I'm going to reverse these as well. We don't want these doors to be backwards. Oh, wait. Yeah. There we go. Bam! Blast through, stare out over the ocean. I'm far enough away from the ocean, by the way, that if there's a hurricane, I should be all right. Anyway, so uh, what else should I do? Uh, maybe a few buttons to open the doors, or do I even need that? I mean, no, I don't need buttons. Uh, people can people can open the doors if they feel like it. All right, anyway, so next step is um, I'm gonna need more wood for sure, because I need to make a crazy, crazy amount of um, chests. So I think the dark oak forest over there would probably be the best. I've got plenty of time. The dark oak forest would definitely be the best place for me to go in order to uh, to get plenty of wood. I mean, I know there's trees everywhere, but the dark oak is just, it's such a thick, hardy tree. You know, there's lots of uh, lots of wood involved. So let me just jump down into here. I've actually made a couple of little pathways, by the way, to make it a little bit easier to get over here. So check this out. So right along this peninsula on the end, see all the all that wood over there? It's beautiful. So yeah, if I hop over to here, see I've got I built this little bitty uh, bridge. Okay, for some reason my brain was not working. Bridge. Yes, that is a bridge. And actually, you know what? Um, I can just leave my horse down here. It's no problem. I don't need to chop down that many trees. Just just enough. Just enough trees. Very good. And if I can, I'm going to try to get another sampling. I'd like to start a dark oak grove near the house if I can. If I ever find enough saplings to actually get it done. But yeah, so we're going to have plenty of wood after chopping down a couple of these trees. And then, um, and then, yeah, it's going to be go time. So I'm going to make tons of chests. I've been ready and willing for so long to have an actual decent storage system at my house. So this is going to be exciting. It's going to be very exciting, actually. All right. So uh, do I need to do, oops, do I need to do more? 54. Yeah, you know what? Let's do another one. Chop down all these. These aren't even, what's funny is that these trees that I'm chopping down right now, they're not even part of the forest. They're just like extra on the other side of the river, which is pretty cool because then I don't feel quite as bad for chopping them down. I realize I probably shouldn't feel bad at all anyway because there's lots of trees in Minecraft. Uh, but it's just part of me, man. I, I like trees. I like nature. Big fan. Oh, wow. This whole thing is one of those low hanging it's like a low hanging branch like a weeping willow type branch oh 
Also, I went up to my enchanting table off camera just to kind of look and see what was going on. And the next enchantment, if I were to enchant my uh, my uh, my axe, would be efficiency, which I think would be absolutely amazing to have efficiency on a on an axe. It would just we'd we'd be able to chop through uh, trees super duper fast. All right, so I think that's plenty right now. So let's head back up. At home, and I'm just gonna make sure. I mean, I'm making, I'm gonna make more chests than I'm ever gonna need. Like, I'm, I'm hoping to fill up that storage room, and it can be my permanent storage room that I, that I'm never gonna need anymore ever again. That's gonna be my plan. So yeah, just need to survive this particular trip. Those rabbits looked funny. <laughs> they looked really funny. Come on, there we go. Nice. All right, so we have made it home. That wasn't too bad, right? I only got one sapling, but I have three dark oak saplings back at home, so I could probably start a little bit of a grove, hopefully. We'll see. Okay, good job, horse. You always do such a good job. Also, you know what? While I'm thinking about it, I'm going to make some uh, cobblestone stairs, and I need... How many do I need? I need... Uh, Two, four, six, eight. I'm going to do this like that, like that. And then I'll put some lanterns on top of that. It's going to look really nice. I'm going to do that on all four sides too. Nope. All the little details. I've been working on this. I've been working on my new house for a long time now, it feels like. But you know what? It's been totally worth it. There we go. All right, so now I can actually get up there. Nice. Okay, so now... Uh, crafting table. And crazy amounts of wood. All right, and then... Chests. So if I actually shift-click, I can make 51 chests. And I may need all 51. I'm just going to make them all. Bam. Dang. That was a lot of wood that I just blasted through. I probably should have actually gotten more, actually. But it's okay. Okay, so, first of all, along the back wall. I need a wall of lovely little chests. Okay. And then... Let me think here. So, it's easy to count how many chests we actually have because... We have these, so if I were to like put two here, two here, two here, two here, so I can actually have a... That was weird. I thought I was seeing a graphical problem, but I guess I wasn't. Okay, that's already probably plenty of chests, but okay, so if we were to come down through here and then mark the middle, which this is the middle, um, I can actually put chests across like this, right? And I'm just going to continue to fill in the gaps. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. So now I can actually do... No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Uh, at the end. On either side. And same thing over here. Starting there. Yep. Here. Wow. All right, so that's nearly perfect. Um, I I'd actually just need... I was actually going to do one more. Oh, actually, I actually have this one. Okay. Take all this, and I actually need to label all these, but I need more leather, and I, I don't want to kill any more cows unless I absolutely have to. I want to get looting on my sword before I kill my cows. So I'm going to save making item frames for all these, which require leather and sticks, and I'm just going to throw stuff in here for now. So I'm thinking... Let me think. Um, what makes the most sense? Uh, I'm thinking like putting building materials, which is more like an uh, like a, like a concrete thinking, which is left brain thinking. So I'm going to put the all of the, the building materials on the left. So I'm thinking like along this line will be the building materials. And actually, this turned out weird. That's weird. Um, I actually want this one to be dirt. Okay, so let's just throw the dirt in there. Put that chest back down, because obviously I'm gonna need a double chest for that. So all the dirt will go in here. All of the cobblestone which I'll, I'll, I'm going to keep in my inventory, but all the cobblestone is going to go here. 
and then all of the um, diorite, granite, and andesite will end up in here, and then all of the sand, gravel, stuff like that will end up in here. So there you go, there's that. Now, uh, like, wood and stuff will go in here. Let's grab all this. And I've actually got the extra chest now, which is great. Boom. And then I'm going to take this extra chest, and that one's going to go next to my bed, okay? That's where the diamonds are going to go. That's where the valuable stuff goes. It needs to be way up there in a safe location. Okay, so dirt. Racha. And then, uh, like, so I, like I said, the granite diorite and all this stuff needs to go here. And I still got more dirt. There we go. And then I've got to choose a spot for things like, um, for like redstone, coal, iron, gold, things like that. Now I think gold is a bit of a valuable, so I may end up keeping it. But so we have building materials that are made out of stone here. We're gonna have like wood. I think wood should go in here. So right here we'll put, um, put redstone and coal. Okay, just for now and. Um, iron and gold and stuff like that will go back there. Wood can go here. And then maybe back here can be things like uh, tools and such. Stick is basically wood. We're going to leave that there. And then, okay, so that's all the building materials on the right-hand side. I'm thinking like food should go in here. So I'll throw in the raw beef. I'm going to keep my food on me though. Um, and then um, right behind that should be things that come from mobs. So like leather... Things like that. I'm, I'm actually thinking through as I go here. Organic stuff should go here. By the way, where is my iron? I'm going to send the iron in here. Diamond needs to be in this inside of this chest. And um, I'll come up with a system for the rest of this stuff. All right. So let's go to the top. Take some sleep. Although I don't really need to. Also, I, I didn't show this to you, but uh, I did light that up. Actually, let's jump up. Oh, I didn't bring any materials with me. That's fine. I was going to... I was going to... Uh, pole vault my way back up and show you guys the... Um, area that I lit up off camera. It wasn't a very, very large area, but that peninsula out there does extend quite a ways. All right, so now I need to begin the process of um, emptying out these chests in here. Oh my, okay. Definitely already seeing some stuff that I'm gonna need to designate a, a chest for, for sure. Wow, okay. Uh, can I really not get any of this stuff? I did get my diamonds, which is great. Can I really not get any of this? Yeah, yeah, so I'm actually able to determine whether some of this stuff should be stackable or not. Okay, good. Yeah, so we're moving. Today's moving day. I just realized that's a perfect, uh, perfect title for the video. <laughs> moving day. All right, so this is stone, so we'll send the stone in there. Ooh, obsidian. I forgot to choose obsidian. Obsidian, obsidian is super hard, like, like cobblestone, so we'll put that right there on the opposite sides. Um, more dirt, so put that dirt in there. This is a great way to learn the system, by the way. Where am I going to put, yeah, uh, saplings, plants, things like that that can actually grow seeds and such. Things that I can eat, though, need to be in the front. So, like, potato cactus is an organic thing that can grow, so we'll leave that there. Pumpkin. Pumpkin's not a food. You can't just directly eat pumpkin, can you? I don't think you can. No, I can't. I tried to. Oh, yeah. I, ca I can't eat the pumpkin directly. Okay. Mobs. So I have, like, bones. Arrows come from mobs, but they're also a tool. And I think the tool should probably go back here. Shears are a tool. Buckets are a tool. Um, things that I've made for mining and stuff, or, like, uh, mine carts and, and things that I can use for a purpose should go here. Cartography table actually needs to go upstairs. Glass, 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 glass. We're gonna put sand and stuff in here, weren't we? Yeah. Okay, and stone button. Just happen to have some stone buttons sitting around. Okay, and now let me uh, head upstairs. I'm gonna put the cartography table down. And this one will just go right there for now. I'm gonna probably end up moving that. Got the spare bed. Now it don't look like I'm a hobo, okay? I got a decent sized bed. Put the chest in there, put the diamonds in there. Bam, looking good. Okay. Gotta grab more stuff. Should probably just get rid of all that stuff in my, uh, or I'm sorry, get rid of the buttons. I don't really need to protect this quite so much anymore. Cool, all right, I just snipped out that chest and now I've got a spare chest. That's amazing.
Okay, let's just see if I can stack any of these things. It always helps. Although it's all going to naturally, I guess it's all going to naturally stack once I put it all in the right chests, but still just trying to be thorough here. Wait, what did what are you doing here? I have a spare cow. Okay. All right, any oops, sorry dudes, my dude. I, I hit the the I hit the button that makes it windowed and it makes the recording program kind of freeze up for a second. All right. You know what? I need to put the horse armor on my horse. What am I doing with my life? Here. There you go. You feel better now? You feel tougher? Good. What am I waiting for? Jeez. All right, I got a brewing stand. I got two brewing stands. I might as well use them both. We'll put them side by side just like that. Again, this will all get re rearranged eventually. Uh, let's go ahead and send the emeralds upstairs. Okay. And I happen to know that my hopper is going to need to go in here somewhere too. So let's just place this down there. What else? Nothing else. Okay, everything else can go downstairs. This is great. Being able to move and actually organize my stuff. I mean, it's like a it's like a dream come true, man. I can't eat wheat. Um, this is from mobs. So that's actually kind of backwards having organic stuff and then mob stuff. Yeah, I kind of I, I kind of want to swap these actually. Yeah, so mob stuff is going to go here. Just need to put away some of this stuff and it'll be easier. Ooh, hearing a zombie. Oh yeah, I always do here, don't I? All right. Uh, anything else from mobs need to be placed down here? No. Ooh, gunpowder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gunpowder. Okay. And then uh, all kinds of stuff that grows that's not edible. Wheat doesn't grow, but it kind of comes from something that grows, so that's why it's there. Also, I have some string, and I can't necessarily eat eggs, can I? I'm just going to try to eat an egg and see what happens. Oh, I throw them on accident. Okay. <laughs> My bad. For, I, I should have known that was going to happen. All right, sand. I've got some extra dirt. Oop, nope, 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 nope. Um, dirt. Got some granite and some andesite. That's all going in there. Um, coal and stuff goes in here. This actually probably should be swapped with this. I mean, metals before. Yeah. Figuring this out as I go. Metals and then things like coal and redstone. Okay, uh, tools. It's extra tools. I'm just kind of reminding myself of what I've built here. These are things that I can use. I've got an extra saddle. The saddle ended up here. Hmm. I'll have to come up with a better system, but for now I'm just going to keep the saddles together. Name tag. That's great. Um, get some extra chests. I have some slabs. I also have some sand. Or glass. My bad. I always call it what it comes from for some reason. Okay, and I've got some extra chests. Can I put them somewhere? Maybe I should have like a processing chest. Cool. Okay, awesome. So we just need to do that one more time, and then that is a full moving day from one house to the other. That's amazing. Okay, maybe twice. This is may end up taking a little while. Uh, Yeah, alright, one more time. I got lots of redstone. I didn't realize how much redstone I actually have. That's because I always farm it up just because it's, um, just because it gives me experience. Ooh, nether rack. I forgot about nether rack. Okay, cobblestone. That's made out of cobblestone. That's made out of cobblestone. Ooh, the grindstone needs to go upstairs, actually. Um, fences and stuff need to go here. Fence material. Lectern definitely needs to be kept on my person as well. Carpet comes from mobs, so we'll put that down there. Uh, more redstone. More gold. Or actually gold in general. I haven't had any gold yet. Also, the acacia door is made out of wood. Probably going to need to expand my wood chest in a little bit. We have all this chest in the back I haven't used, and all those on the side too. Um, okay, I need to come up with there's some andesite. Need to come up with a plan for my netherrack. I mean, netherrack can or netherrack can come in here for now. Um, that is a plant, so might as well put it down. But I'll put it down here. That way, it's separated. Poppy goes here too. 
thinking through the system, right? There's my shield. I, I don't need an extra sword, but this is where the tools go. Hey, I've got... I've got two shields. I don't know where that came from, but okay. Alright, book for sure. All the extra... I'm just going to put this in here for now. That's temporary. Okay, and then upstairs, I'm going to put the grindstones and the lecterns and everything. Let's just put the grindstones here. The lectern here. I'm going to need the lectern probably at the end of this episode. So, we'll see. I'm already 20 minutes in. Just trying to move my stuff, man. Alrighty then. There we go. Empty. Nice. i going to take this crafting table. i to take this furnace. Furnace. So the furnace. Take this iron door off of here. It doesn't need to be here anymore. And I'm going to take my buttons too. There we go. Guys, I've officially moved out. It feels weird. It feels very weird. Alright, and let me place down. I've got a couple of these cauldrons. Might as well place them down. I've got a couple of furnaces, which I'll have a, an epic smelting machine eventually. Um... That's it. Okay. Downstairs. So this stuff is growing, so we'll put that in there. Food. We got some melon slices. I've also got some raw chicken that needs to be cooked before I eat it, but it is edible. Um, more redstone. I got crazy amounts of redstone, guys. Crazy amounts. Alright, some from mobs I get some leather. Uh, flint. I guess flint should go here. Coal. Paper. Paper comes from things that grow. I guess paper can go here for now. Put that there. Um, I got some wood stuff. I got some fences. It's actually really interesting going through all this because I haven't done it in so long that I forgot everything that I have. It's really interesting. Dirt. Got some gravel. Some uh, iron ore. And then we got the dried kelp blocks, which I need, and also the extra chests. So, all right. Um, dried kelp. You know what? I'm just going to put half in here and half in here for now. If I don't set up the automated smelter, at least I'll have this set up for success. Um, extra chests. I mean, you know what? Might as well just have some extra chests. Actually, you know what? Having some some chests to, to store stuff while I'm working is probably a good idea. Let's just place that there and there. And then I've got an extra crafting table. I probably should just keep a crafting table on me, but I want to have one in here, or several in here probably. How many extra wood? I do. Nice. Okay, so I got one in my inventory, but also want to have one down here. And I'm going to place that down there. All right, so guys, um, I have officially moved into my new home. That is an amazing feeling. Let me get some sleep, and then we got to plan the next step. We got we to gotta plan the next step. It's a big day. So, um, again, I want to set up a really great smeltering system. Um, I just don't know exactly how I would. I guess I'll probably look up some ideas first. So, let me just check in with everything. I haven't, like, paid attention to anything lately. Got plenty of cows. I got lots of, I got extra cows. I don't know how they got out, but they did. Lots of chickens, almost three full stacks of feathers, which will come in handy later. Um, Sugarcane farm is getting it done. I got th over three and a half stacks of that. Kelp farm, probably need to expand my kelp farm. It seems to be a bit slow, but it's cooking. I've got four more dried blocks left. I got to come in here and do that manually every once in a while. Um, and then lastly, I want to check out the farm and I should have... You know, more carrots and stuff. Wow. Okay, that's right. I didn't use up all of it last time because I, I forgot to check up the farming trades. I'm sure you guys answered me in the comments of the previous video, but I forgot. All right, so um, next step, I do have a villager down there that does need to be used. But for now, I think what I want to do is start planning my library. So if I've got this here... It would make sense to put the library. I'm trying to think about where I would want it. Like, where is the logical place for it? It's going to be a big building. It's going to be. It's not going to be really, really tall, but it is going to be pretty large. Um, maybe over there. I'm actually thinking this direction would be better.
Yeah, something like right here. This one, this would be good. I, I don't know how big I need it to be, but maybe right here would be a good spot. Okay, let me think through the size now. Actually, actually, for some reason, I dumped a lot of stuff that I actually need to keep it on my person. So let me go grab my stuff and start thinking about it. Because remember last episode I told you that I needed 20 librarians. 20. So that is going to be a problem. Probably. <laughs> Uh, do I need? Yeah, I'm gonna obviously I want to keep some cobblestone on me Some dirt on me. Oh Definitely some iron on me, too uh, Coal or torches. I don't need any of that. I don't need any of that. I don't need any of that At least not yet Water bucket. I've already got for now. I Do need the lead though for the horse um No, that looks fine. That looks fine too. And I've got nothing in all those chests. Nothing in this chest. Okay. Now that I've got some stuff on me, I need to make some torches. It's gonna make a stack. Okay. So now I can do some counting. Um. I liked using torches for counting. It didn't take any effort to, to remove them once they are removed. So I'm thinking probably removing this farm and then having the... Uh, probably uh, terraforming the land a little bit, like removing this layer of dirt all the way through and making it, you know, extend. Because this is a pretty big area here. So that's probably what I'll do. Uh, but let's just assume like the door is right here. So, uh, if the door is right here, and it's a, it's a single door, okay? This is where it's going to be. So, I want to have at least two spaces of a walkway all the way around with, with librarians on the outer ring and in the middle. With only one door to get in. So, because, uh, and obviously it'll be an iron door to be very protected because I don't want the, the stupid uh, pillagers to show up or something like that. So, uh, in that case, this is the outer wall, right? And so I'm going to need a, a gap of two spaces for the librarian and the lectern, and then a gap of two spaces for the walkway. So that means that the librarian, let me take out these torches for now. That means that the, the first librarians will actually need to be right there. Let me just make this, make this across. So wait, so this is the front door, and this is where the first librarians actually are. So, I think there's a natural size that'll work here. For width, and the width will be really easy to determine. So, if this is the front door, and this is an equal part with the front door, let's say I want to have two librarians facing me. I'll have one librarian's lectern here, and the other one here with a solid wall in between. Uh, so that makes it easy because then I just have two. They're there. And then the outer wall to keep them from moving, right? So we have lecterns, we have librarians, and then we have this back wall here. And there you go. The librarians are fully encased. So the next step is to figure out how they're going to work side by side. So if I have uh, a back wall here, then it means I can have a lectern here and a librarian here with a back wall going down the middle. So there's a lectern, there's a solid wall, there's a lectern, there's a solid wall, and we can do that all the way around too. Okay, so like right here, each space, and I'm going to put a cobblestone where the actual librarians are. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's actually not bad to have six in the initial planning here. So along the back wall, this is the first entrance. Um... I'd rather not have librarians like facing me when I walk in, to be honest. So maybe I'm a little too far away. I think I may be a little too far away here. Because um, if it's just one, two, three, four, five. I mean, I could have them facing all the way around, facing each other. It's for social hour, right? So uh, let's figure out how wide it needs to be. I'm going to start on this side. So this is where the librarian is. This is where lectern. We have a, a two way walkway, and then there's another lectern. And then let's just say there's another librarian. Right, so that means that there needs to be an external wall to block them in. 
or an internal wall, and then here is the external wall there, okay? So you can tell the uh, the torches are either lecterns or walls. So can I extend that? How far can I extend that here? So each, each cobblestone is a librarian. Okay, the external wall is here. Yeah, so I'd actually want to move it across probably here. Just for compression's sake. You know, you, you want it to be comfortable. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I'm actually running out of torches, but you get the picture. So, um, the external wall, we get one, two, three, four, which means you can also do four over there, which would be eight. And then we have the six, which would be 14. So I need to go that direction, a couple more. No problem. I'm just going to put down uh, cobblestones for count here. So how many we got? We have four, eight, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14 out of 20. So I need to add three. So that's one, two, and then three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 14, if you double it, and then 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Cool, so that would actually work, and it would be nice and symmetrical, and, get this, I'll be able to put a second door on the back if I decide to, because this thing is, is relatively symmetrical. I am gonna have to terraform. I could probably just add some dirt. It would probably be better than removing this entire layer. So, um, I guess my, my one question is, is this level here. So, this is the external wall, this is their lectern. So we got one, two, three, four, five blocks of the entrance, right here. Uh, this is the lectern. So, one, two, three. So the back door would be... That's not bad. Okay, so I've got a plan. i got a plan. So, every single cobblestone you see is a librarian. I'll add some dirt on that side. And we'll be able to make this work fairly, fairly well. The back door will be slightly more cramped is the, the plan because the, the, uh, the external wall will kind of like extend across like this, right? So it's one, two, and then you have librarians on this side. While on this side, it's a little bit more open. It's going to feel a little more, you know, it's going to feel a little bit better. Or I could, I could split the difference, honestly. Is this is the back wall or the the internal? This is what lecterns are. That's one, two, three, four, and then the five. Or I can do here. This is the lectern. So one, two, three. So I can make it four. I could actually split the difference and make it even. But then we have a, a weird count for the lecterns and the librarians on the outer wall. So it's actually better if it's uneven. That actually makes better sense. Okay, so I we'll have librarians across both sides and in the middle, with the back wall being you know nice and open glass with an iron door. Very good. All right, so we have a plan. I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna take out a few of these torches And I'm gonna try to Mark the external corner there. There we go And then how many spaces before the lecterns there's two, okay one two Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. So from the lecterns, one, two, three, four, five blocks of the external wall. Okay, so we got to go from here. One, two, three, four, five. So the external wall is actually here. So I need to add some dirt for this to line up pro uh, properly. All right, go. So you just, you just guys, you guys just experienced a raw building planning session where I literally wanted to count out and figure out exactly how much space I needed to make this work. And again, I think this open, this big open space here will be a little more, a little more uh, inviting. If I were to squish it over then, and make it even so where it's like, it's four spaces. This is, this is two space. This is one, two, three, four. So if we split the difference, it's three, but then it'll actually wait. If we're splitting the difference, all I'm doing is moving this inside bit. Hold on. This may feel a little better, actually. It's so nice to be able to do this without worrying about dying. Alright, uh, this here... 
will actually work, I think, better. Watch this. Okay, why is there so many stones? There we go. Yeah, okay, so remember that the, the cobblestone are the, the library. So there's three spaces before the lectern on the front, and there is one, two, three spaces before the lectern on the back, and the librarians on the side will have plenty of space still. So that worked out perfectly. That actually worked out very nice. It's very nice and even. Plenty of space on the front, a decent amount of space on the sides. No one's going to feel super duper cramped. I like it. All right, guys, so that's the plan. Worked it out. I don't know what the external is going to look like, but that's the spacing that we need right there. It looks like a place where you would do some sort of weird ritual <laughs> just because of all the torches. But um, anyway, let me go sleep in my new house that I've officially moved into. And then I am done for the day. Let me just jump up here. It's going to be a little weird having to travel so far to sleep, but it's worth it. I'm safe and sound up here. There we go. Guys, that's all for me for today's episode of Hardcraft. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. And of course, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. Remember that I love each and every one of you. Look at that sunset. I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.